Hi, my name is Stephanie Crabtree and I'm from Prepped and Polished Tutoring. And this is three brilliant ways to study for the SAT physics test you never thought of. One thing that students don't realize when they go into the SAT physics test is how very conceptual it is. They're used to number crunching on their physics tests from their AP Physics or their other physics classes. Uh, they're used to doing a lot of problems that involve figuring out different pieces that are put together uh, from different concepts. But what they don't realize is that the SAT physics test is very different than that. It is all about one concept at a time. What does the graph for that particular concept look like. But this SAT physics test is maybe 80%, maybe more than 80% conceptual. You're not gonna be doing a lot of those same types of problems. So here are three strategies you can use to study to get yourself ready for the SAT physics test. The first strategy is something that most students don't know about, and it's called FET simulations. I would suggest that you Google FET simulations or FET Colorado. It's a program of the University of Colorado put out for hundreds of simulations from different types of physics and chemistry problems in which you can uh, put different charges in an electric field and play with the different electric field or magnetism. You can shoot uh, a projectile out of a cannon. You can do any type of problem that you can think of within reason and simulate what the behavior of that object is going to be. This type of simulation is very common uh, to the types of thinking that are on the SAT physics test. After you have the FET simulations under your belt, you've put some charges and some fields and seen what can happen. The next strategy for studying, I'm going to call doubles graphs. What do I mean by this? First of all, make your equation sheet that you're going to study for the test. Then graph every equation on that equation sheet based on certain variables. And when you have those variables, double them. So double the current. See what happens to the power. Double the resistance. See what happens to the current. This will allow you to understand the role of different variables within the equation. For example, what happens when you double that current? Is the power going to double itself? Is it going to do something else? Or even Take half of a variable and see what happens to those graphs. This is an extremely common type of problem on the SAT physics test. Not only do you have your FET simulations and doubles graphs, but you're going to do a strategy I like to call breaking the problem. Take all those common problems that you just graphed in the doubles graphs or that you just understood what happens physically in your FET simulations and take something, one variable in the equation and break it. So you have a pendulum problem. All of a sudden the string breaks. You have a projectile motion problem. Put a wall in the middle of that. You have a current in the coil. The current stops. What are you going to do in that case? What is the graph of the situation going to look like? And what is the behavior of the math going to be in that case? Good luck on the test. And if you like what you saw, definitely check out Prepped and Polished Tutoring. But just to review, FET simulations help you visualize what's going on physically. Doubles graphs help you understand mathematically and graphically what's going to happen. And breaking the problem helps you extend your understanding from what's currently going on to what can go on in a problem.